in this thing, do we start to connect really more anatomically some awareness of, for example, how we can move the engagement, the involvement, the activity through areas such as the kind of trail side of pelvis, to be very precise, really activity through things like glute medius, glute minimus, the long adductor muscles that run inside that thigh, the medial part of the kind of upper thigh femur, and then how that trail foot can start to leverage and interact with the floor, the ground reaction forces, to then really start to encourage that pelvis to move in the way that we'd really like to see it move in transition, alongside then really encouraging good upper spine, thorax movement in and around that rotation in and around that lead hip. So really looking at it across many areas, more the engagement, the anatomical awareness of areas such as glute, me, glute, min, adductors through that trail side, how that foot can move, how we start that lovely kind of movement along that first metatarsal into that big toe, the foot moving towards that pronated e position. It really then starts to connect in with then that movement, that, that glide of the pelvis as it moves and rotates and down. So alongside then that lovely internal rotation, that movement, the activity again around that lead hip. So really kind of looking to connect many areas, more the concept of really how we can use that trail foot, how we can move that foot and that kind of pronated ankle everted to then start to encourage the pelvis to produce that medial lateral movement that then connects into those ground reaction forces alongside and how that rib cage can then start to rotate in and around that lead hip. So really exploring our engagement, our activity, from a more kind of myofascial muscular observation in some ways, then really how it connects back to how the feet can then really interact with the foot on the floor, and then how that then really kind of connects into really our ability then to produce that rotation around that lead hip, especially through that spine, thorax, neck area. So using a wall as we have here, so for left-handed players, simply invert this, so for right-handed players, using that kind of trail foot, that right foot, take the left leg, and then really apply as much pressure as you can through that trail foot to kind of push the pelvis and move the pelvis into that wall. So in many ways, it's using that kind of trail foot to kind of really then push the pelvis to move the wall. So when looking at the position, that kind of lead leg, very much knee in line with hip joint, ankle underneath, that kind of lovely right ankle position. So once again, knees in line with hip joint, ankle underneath. That's very, very important to get that real activity through areas such as kind of glute med and glute min through that kind of trail side. So making a rotation to the back swing. So using that trail foot, actively kind of push along that medial border along that first metatarsal towards that kind of base of that big toe as you hold that rotation that lovely kind of rotated that wonderful spiral rotation through that rib cage push the pelvis using that trail foot to really kind of move the water away and as you start to kind of move through this movement then we can then start to rotate into that kind of impact position so really encouraging good rotation through that spine and neck then really improve the awareness of how we can move internally in that middle rotation in and around that kind of lead hip and ankle. So once again, with that wonderful connectivity, that lovely activation, that interaction through that trail foot, it's using that pressure, moving that force along that metatarsal to the big toe, that medial board of the foot, to actively try and use the pelvis to push into the wall, then start to rotate into that impact position to get that lovely awareness of that internal rotation in and around that lead hip. And once you've done that for a handful of times, it be very much guided by your own endurance, your own awareness, your own kind of perception of movement, into that start position then start to make a few rotations and be very much guided by how the drill encourages you to move really then start to encourage that in swing so then start to connect in those conceptual awareness of how can we use the awareness of that trail foot trail hip rib cage lead hip awareness to really improve the movements we make especially in transition and then in, in to impact around that kind of trail foot pelvis and rib cage